If you like cookies, and if you're a fan of the Dutch graphic artist MC Escher, then maybe you're planning on having an MC Escher party sometime, but maybe you don't know just what to cook. Let me show you what I suggest. So suppose you're having your Escher party, and you have to make some Escher cookies. Here's what you're going to need. Uh, there's some flour, sugar and brown sugar, a little salt, baking powder, uh, cocoa, butter, eggs, and a little bit of vanilla. And then of course you're going to need a mixer to mix everything. I've got some measuring cups. Uh, you're also going to need a cylinder to do some flattening and a couple of uh, planes here to flatten the cookies onto. And since it's an Escher party, uh, you're also going to need some Eschers, of course. Uh, so I suggest perhaps uh, here is Horseman, one of famous Escher. And I've got here Reptiles, another great Escher. And here's Pegasus. So these three rollers we'll use to shape the cookies. And where do you get an Escher roller, you ask? Why they grow inside these little boxes. You make them on your own 3D printer. If you have access to a 3D printer, the files you need to generate these rollers are on my website, georgehart.com. And there's also free software to create rollers from any image. I've been trying different sizes, different textures. About this much depth seems to work out pretty well. I'm going to start with two sticks of butter. One, two, and a quarter cup brown sugar, and a quarter cup of regular sugar. And uh, if you're in the civilized part of the world that understands the value of metric units, please forgive my American units. This is how they sell it. I'm going to mush it up here and let that go till it's all creamy and all the sugar is mixed in. Okay, that's good. I'm going to add my liquids now. I've got a half teaspoon of vanilla. that up to us a little mushy. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to put in the dry ingredients now. Uh, we need two cups of flour. I'm going to start with just one to begin with. Uh, we need three quarters of a cup of cocoa. One, two, Just a dash, a little dash of salt, and a half teaspoon of baking powder. Now, by the way, I'm still kind of experimenting with recipes, so uh, maybe on my website you can check later and find uh, the latest variations. I'm going to mix that very carefully. I added the second cup of flour, so now it's nice and solid. I'm going to take half the dough here and flatten it out. Sheet. It should be nice and thick. To help it cool down, I'm going to put this in the freezer for five minutes. And preheat the oven to 350, maybe 375, somewhere in there. Pardon my Fahrenheit. So now I have some of the dough that's gotten cold. And I've taken it and I'm going to roll it out again. And I'm going to cut out some cookie shaped pieces. put 
these. And another tray here where I will roll them. And to roll them, we just take our roller and roll across. I'm using a kind of parchment paper here that's uh, safe to put in the oven, so I'm going to cook right on the sheet and I won't have to worry at all about sticking. So we just roll across. Then, into the oven we go. Then eight minutes later, out they come. Ready to eat. When cool, you're ready to serve them at your Escher party. After all that fun cooking, you may be so hungry you could eat a horse. And some lizards.